Hey everybody, welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where my wife Amy and I travel around the country, eat at all kinds of interesting places, and bring reviews to you. Today we are in Silver City, New Mexico, and it's super windy out here. But we decided to go to Blake's Lotta Burger. And you may have seen it before featured on shows like um, Breaking Bad, but it's really only here in New Mexico. And we were advised to come in here and check it out. So let's just go do that. New Mexico is a beautiful change in our scenery after our long stay in Florida this winter. It's mountains, abundant sunshine. There's almost a sense of magic in the air. We only had a few days in Silver City and decided to visit the nearby National Forest. We hiked up to the Gila Dwellings National Monument and we were lucky enough to arrive for a ranger-led tour at the site. We learned a lot about the ancient people who inhabited this well-preserved structure. And although it was only a one-mile hike round trip, we had to climb 180 feet up and then back down again. Aside from nature and history, we decided to explore another New Mexico treasure. That's Blake's Lotta Burger. For more than 70 years, this chain of hamburger joints has delighted residents with its fresh ingredients. And of course, green chilies. New Mexico is the chili capital after all. Walking into this restaurant is a typical fast food experience. Very bright, red and white, um, and very clean. We did have to wait for a little bit before we were able to order, but it is counter service. So you place your order and it's a very brief menu. They are all about the hamburgers. The side dishes include things like french fries, onion rings, chili, um, and they have some fun milkshake flavors too. I want to give a shout out to the people that recommended we come here. When we did our Whataburger video back in Texas, we had some people say, well, if you're going to do Whataburger, you got to do a lot of burger if you go through New Mexico. And we're here in New Mexico, and there was one really close to the RV park that we were staying in. So we're like, okay, let's go do it. So we're going to give the shout out to Colleen R. and Lynn Daniels Anderson because you guys recommended it. Here we are. If we don't like it, it's on you. Our food just came up and it's kind of a funny little, little debacle, I guess you could call it. So like we ordered um, my burger with extra green chilies and jalapenos because you know, green chilies and jalapenos, New Mexico, you got to do it. And then I ordered some chili and a, a, a medium drink. Well, what came was no chili, a large drink, a hamburger with extra cheese, and no extra green chilies or no extra jalapenos. Fast food, right? So after going back and forth and figuring it out, whatever, I got my burger, so check it out. It looks pretty messy right now because, you know, I just tore it out of the paper and, and addressed it because they didn't, they either forgot my jalapenos and they forgot my extra green chili, so they gave it to me separate. So I just put it on. So we've got double patty, extra cheese. It's got all this really hot New Mexico stuff. Then underneath here, try not to make it too much of a mess, is lettuce, pickles, onions, and tomatoes. And I also got, this is the funny part too, guys. You notice that I'm using a fork here. They are all out of spoons. So I got my bowl of chili and I will be eating it with a fork today, but it's pretty thick. So it looks like that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm gonna start with the chili. Um, just came out of the vat. So I don't know how long the vat's been sitting there, but super cheesy. I don't wanna get cheese all over the place. <laughs> Mmm. Kind of, oh, it's spicy. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Let me grab my beverage. Do you hear my voice changing? I'm a glutton for punishment today because everything I got is super hot and super spicy. Now I'm going to try this hamburger and it's going to make a huge mess, I'm sure. But let me get it up here. I'm going to have. I want you guys to look at this. That's a pretty beefy burger, right? Pretty full. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. 
you know. Hmm. Jalapenos aren't very hot, but they taste really good. I was expecting five uh, alarm, red alert, fire coming out. Not the case though, but it's actually, it's a big burger. I know why they call it a lot of burger now, because you get a lot of burger in every bite. Finally, it's my turn. I wanted to get a hamburger today too. And even though they had chicken sandwiches, I was just in the mood for a burger. So I got the same thing Paul did, but without all the extras. So he had extra chilies, extra jalapenos, which I guess are technically chilies. So I ordered fries instead of the chili. Now I ordered spicy fries for a little extra flavor. Um, and we'll dig into those in a minute. But now I want to take a look and see this hamburger looks a lot like the one Paul just showed you. So it also has green chilies. Um, that looks like an egg. In fact, I'm, I'm actually not quite sure what that is. Um, that's weird. Maybe it must be cheese. I guess that's cheese the cheese. And mustard, okay, okay, fair enough. But it does look like an egg. And then lots of onions, lots of vegetables on this. French fries. Mmm. Large drink. Those fries are starting to get cold because we had to go back and make so many adjustments. But we'll see how the burger tastes after it's been sitting here for God knows how long. Ready? Mmm. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's cold, but I'm compare I'm trying to compare it to Whataburger. Uh -huh. I'd say the buns are nicer here. The bread is nicer. It's not as smooshed down and dense. Um, I probably like the fries better too. So I would say if I had to choose, if they were side by side, I would probably eat here at Ladderburger. I would not ever go through the drive through and I would check your order every single time when it arrives to make sure you actually get what you ordered. Now the chili is warm. Paul says it's actually spicy. So let's take a bite and see. You know how I feel about things that he thinks is spicy? It's probably gonna be too hot for me. It's hot and hot. It's actually good. If you like chili, you won't be disappointed at all with this. It's not a nice body to it. It's not runny. It's got a lot of beef in it, lots of beans. If you like beans in your chili. Are you one of those people that doesn't put beans in chili? Because frankly, I think that's a little weird. I usually don't get French fries when we go to places like this. Um, but since we're here and Amy ordered them, she got these spicy fries. So I'm gonna give those a shot. You can't really go wrong with spicy fries, right? In comparison to most fast food joints that we've hit, those are probably the better of the fries. So what did we think of Lotta Burger? Yeah, it was okay. I mean, the food was pretty good, but the whole uh, misunderstanding and ordering the wrong things, and then after all that time, then our food was cold. They make everything to order, which is pretty good here. So the fact that our burgers were kind of cold, um, the fries, they tasted good but they seem like they've been sitting there for a little while. The chili, chili was good. I have to say, I, I did enjoy the chili. I did have to go back to get it. However, they did comp me the chili since there was the whole confusion. So I would have to say that Blake's Lotta Burger was pretty good, pretty good. Um, I think maybe we just, maybe we got it at an off time. Maybe if we were at a different location or maybe if you know the stars would have been aligned a little more or something, it would have been better. But I have to say it was good, but it was not my favorite. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. But most importantly, shoot us a comment. We're traveling all over the country and eventually we're gonna be in some place that you know. Maybe you can recommend a place for us to eat. And if you do, we'll mention you in that video. We'd also like to encourage you to reach out to your local food shelter. Maybe if you can donate a couple cans of food, some money or some time, you can make a big difference in someone's life. So until we eat together again, see you guys.